Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to mine Ethereum. And this question has been very popular ever since recently when I put out the how to get started or beginner's guide on how to mine crypto with NiceHash. And even though in NiceHash there are plenty of different algorithms that you can mine or different cryptos that you can mine, you're ultimately going to get paid out in Bitcoin no matter what you do. So what are the other alternatives? Well, if you've been keeping an eye on the channel, uh, recently I released a guide uh, to you know mining with Awesome Miner, which is a great program, uh, very easy utility to use, uh, great for beginners and advanced users. You can expand with it. So if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and do so. Also, before we can even start getting into the miners, because we're going to need our wallet address, we're going to need to set up a wallet first and there's plenty of programs or utilities or GUIs, light wallets, the whole nine yards out there that you can utilize to set up your wallet but I do have a video on my recommended wallets uh, which I will also link not only below but above so check that out and make sure you have a wallet first I don't recommend mining directly to an exchange however so once you have your wallet set up and you, you got your wallet address, your Ethereum wallet address, now we have to find a pool to mine on. Now I like to use a website called miningpoolstats.stream and Ethereum's right here towards the top. If you don't find the coin that you're looking for, you can always just type it in right here and then select Ethereum. Now stay tuned for an upcoming video as well where I talk about you know how to choose the best mining pool depending on the crypto that you're looking at. Um, and the reward system that's available because if you look down right here by the pool fee uh, we got a bunch of letters PP LNS PPS plus so on and so forth I'll be going through that in a different video so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for updates but now that we're here we selected Ethereum I like to choose any of the top five or ten pools and primarily I like Ethermine and Nanopool now F2 pool is just as good spark pool is good uh, you can see the globes kind of represent worldwide. So we can see Ether Mines available in the US, EU, Asia. Just mouse over the icon. And then Spark Pool is primarily China. But people here in the US and so on around the world do mine uh, on a China server, which is perfectly fine. Um, I just like choosing servers that are closest to my location. And F2 Pool, uh, CNEU, uh, Nano Pool is in Australia, Asia, US, and EU. So I got these two pools pulled up. But how do we get started? All right, so with our wallet address already available, with the pool that we just picked on um, or that we just selected, if I get out of your way, you'll see start mining for Nanopool right up here. Or excuse me, for Ethermine right up here. And Nanopool is right there on the homepage. When we go to our main homepage, eth.nanopool.org, it's towards the bottom. And this is the information that we're going to need to set up our miners. For example, an awesome miner and we're going to go through three different miners um, if we click on new pool add pool we can give it a description so let's let's call this one ether mine uh, we're going to want to pull the the put the pool connection URL so if I hit start mining here's our different URLs that we could choose and you want to choose what's best for your region Asia Europe so on and so forth so I'm going to go to uh, the East Coast server and that's going to be my URL I also want to implement the port address in this so we're going to do colon and you could do um, any one of these ports right here now just FYI and SSL ports or SSL stands for secure socket layer technically it's the more secure port or secure uh, connection uh, just like when you're on a secure website if you see the little lock icon in the upper left hand corner that means that it is a secured website but any of these ports will work sometimes I use just the alt stratum or stratum with uh, 14444 uh, 4, 4. and so we're gonna go ahead and put that in worker name whatever name you want for your machine so we can call it minor one and then password is usually followed by X or in this case you can actually put um, your email which once you start mining that email will be used to validate and change your payout the lowest payout though that you can do per day or not per day but the lowest payout that you can select period is 0.05 ETH and I believe that's the same for both of these pools however this is through awesome miner which is which is more of a GUI um, 
it makes it a little bit easier on the beginners right because if I go to coin and start typing in ETH there's Ethereum right there uh, but I'm gonna need to plug in my wallet address and then personalized string you don't really need to worry about as a beginner but these are the basics we just need to input our wallet address so I'm gonna leave awesome miner up for right now but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple things because there are other miners available they're a little bit more advanced but they are very usable once you get this the hang of it it's it's very easy easy to use so you can see this folder right here I have all of my miners all set up ready to go the key here is that you want to keep it updated for example Phoenix Miner, I know I haven't updated in, a, in quite some time. So if I Google search Phoenix Miner, one thing I want to warn you about is at the top here we see phoenixminer.org. I cannot guarantee you that these are the same people as the developers of Phoenix Miner. I have no idea. Maybe somebody just did it out of the kindness of their heart and decided to put a website. But I can't validate that this is the same exact Phoenix Miner. So what I recommend as a beginner is look for either github or bitcointalk.org and nine times out of ten those link the like for example we go to bitcoin talk right now we see the main page which is very helpful is it is a read but it's very helpful because it gives us information about updates the commands that we can use as a beginner you, you don't have to worry about the commands just yet but if you want to get the the maximum performance out of your GPUs, the commands do actually play a role. So keep that in the back of your mind. But if we scroll down here on Bitcoin Talk, we can see that here's the link right here. So Mega NZ allows me to go to a link where Phoenix Miner and all of its revisions have been updated or loaded. For example, we have, uh, you know, we can go all the way back to 4.2, which was released uh, in, or excuse me, yeah, 4.2, which was back in March 25th, 2019. At the bottom, though, we have the latest version, and you want to select the one for your operating system. Now, I already downloaded it, but 5.4c at time of filming is the highest level. So if I jump over to my downloads, we can go ahead and open this up, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you have 7-zip or WinRAR, basically you just want to extract it to a folder that you have access to or you know somewhere that you like on your machine, downloads, desk, desktop, documents, if you have an external, whatever. Just put it somewhere where you know where it's at. Now, I will tell you whether it's Awesome Miner or Nice Hash or even some of these uh, what we would call batch file miners, your antivirus will sometimes get in the way. So you wanna make sure that you open up your antivirus and add an exclusion to that protection or to you know not scan you know hey I trust this developer so on and so forth so we add exclusion we could do by folder we could do by file I like to do the whole folder of the miner itself so I actually copy this put that in there and then now that folder is excluded I know that's a little bit worrisome if you're new to this but I trust the developers themselves um, but obviously with everything you got to be mindful because again, I don't know if this phoenixminer.org is officially a part of the same team. It may be, I can't validate that. So don't take my word on that. Just know that you should be going to the GitHub or the Bitcoin talk thread to download these uh, official miners or updates. Same thing with T-Rex Miner. If I go look it up, T-Rex Miner, you can see right there at the top, there's the GitHub. Here's the latest versions. Now for T-Rex Miner, we can see that uh, we have CUDA 11.1, 10, and 9.2. 9.2 is for like the 900 series, you know, 980, 980Ti. Um, I believe it worked on the 10 series. The 10 works on the 10 series and the 20 series. And the 11.1, I believe, is the 3000 series. Uh, however, I've seen 10 work for all three. So honestly, if you have the 3000 series, just get the 11.1, the CUDA 11.1. If you have anything older, um, just get the 10.0. So I already have this downloaded as well, and I'll show you how to extract it. So it's right here, T-Rex Miner 0.19.9. This is my WinRAR, so it'll be something similar to what you have in WinZip. Extract, okay, and we just wanna extract it to our downloads folder. Once we have that extracted, we have everything preset. Now as a beginner, Again, I don't want to go too into the weeds with you guys. I want you guys to, to start mining and start earning cryptocurrency or at least Ethereum as, as soon as possible. 
So we're not going to focus on that. But in these miners, both of them, they have preset configs. Now, Phoenix Miner has less, but it does have both. So it has Start Miner for Ethereum and Start Miner ETC for Ethereum Classic. They're two different algorithms. For T-Rex Miner, we have uh, pretty much a lot of the coins. Ravencoin, Zero, Zcoin, or Firo now. Um, and here's ETH, Ethermine, Batch. So if I right click edit you don't want to double left click because you wind up trying to run the program we need to edit it first because in here we need to change some stuff for example on the, I don't want to mine to an EU server instead I want to mine to a US server you can just copy it here or just make a few typo or changes to the text um, and the address if you leave this stock address in here you're going to wind up mining to somebody else's address, maybe the developer's address, which is actually very kind of you uh, because the developers do need support because they're taking time out of their lives to update these miners. But if you want to earn cryptocurrency, make sure it's always pointing towards your address. So we change that address out to our own. And let's just for now pretend this is, a, this is our own address. Actually, we're going to use this one real quick. And each of these little commands signify something for example trex.exe is the program dash a is the algorithm dash o is the server and you can see here trex miners on my left phoenix miners on my right you can see dash pool is phoenix miners command for the server or the pool pool address and then dash wall for short for wallet is um dash u in trex miner so without confusing you, all you do is you go to these miners, you extract it, you put it somewhere safe, you go find the batch file, you right click edit, and then you change the information that are in these batch files to make it your own. Make sure it's your own wallet address, make sure that you, know, you have um, a worker name signified. Because right now, if we go to look this up on Ethermine, which we can do by clicking minor address up here at the top or if you go to the very beginning of the website there's a bar right here but either one will work put in the address enter or search and we can see that we're reporting a hash rate which is important you don't want to start mining and then walk away for hours and expect it that it's connected you always want to verify that you're getting shares submitted at the pool level and that your hash rate supporting correctly but we can see our miners and our names down here at the bottom so it's very important that if you want to signify, hey, this is my you know, RX 580 system, this is my NVIDIA uh, 1060 system, you can actually put that in the rig names. For T-Rex, it's dash W, and it says rig zero, so change that to you know minor one or whatever you want. And then for Phoenix, it's separated between the wallet, so it's wallet address or your Ethereum address, period, and then your miner as well. And we can just change that to wherever we want. Now our, both our configs are set up, but these miners need a little bit more information for you to understand when should you use them. Right now at time of filming, as far as NVIDIA series, uh, you know, the 3000 series that recently came out, T-Rex miner is the better miner to use. You get a little bit more performance out of it. However, Phoenix miner has been a tried and true miner for quite some time. T-Rex miner has been around for a while, but they T-Rex focuses primarily or deals primarily with Nvidia while Phoenix Miner is dual so you can mine on an AMD GPU and an Nvidia GPU using Phoenix Miner you can't do that with T-Rex Miner but T-Rex Miner with the 3000 series performs better than the Phoenix Miner that's why I'm showing you this because I actually have a 3080 in my system so I can use either one but I found that T-Rex gives me a little bit of performance however that may not always be the case because unfortunately in the past a lot of people used to utilize Claymore Miner, and Claymore Miner is no longer around. The developers stopped updating it, and with all the new GPUs that comes out, these miners do have to take time out of their lives to update uh, patch bugs, issues, stuff like that. And sometimes in the GitHub, you actually see the release notes of what they fix, bug fixes, so on and so forth. So it's okay to actually support them um, and, and help them out if you do mine to their address. Cool. But... If you want to earn cryptocurrency, specifically Ethereum, to your own wallet, you want to make sure that you have your wallet address in there in place of the default. So just to reiterate, you can set this up in Awesome Miner. 
just as I showed you here today or you can use miners which are recommended on, on most mining websites uh, but for NVIDIA I would use T-Rex miner for AMD I would use Phoenix miner or if you just want to stick with Phoenix miner for both that's perfectly fine too if you don't like batch file miners to where it, you know it's just a series of commands then maybe awesome miner is, is the better option for you so you have to pick and choose your poison which one you like which one you're more comfortable with and go from there but once you start mining don't forget to come back to the pool and verify your submitting shares to show that your hash rate that your worker is showing you'll see your worker name so on and so forth but that is the basics that's how you get started there's a lot more information that I could share with you um, there's a, additional information on the Bitcoin talk threads that both of these miners exist on uh, like commands for example in Phoenix miner the command line is right here various commands that would actually maybe help improve performance or set watchdog parameters but that gets really really advanced if you just want to get into start mining Ethereum right now um, or uh, just immediately start getting hash rate start get earning Ethereum the best thing I can say is get a wallet get set up get one of these miners that I've I provided to you here in this video also linked in the description below and start hashing away now Ethereum eventually will switch to proof of stake question are we too late no start mining start earning ethereum um, it's not too late yes six to eight months from now we got eip 1559 which will eventually uh bring down the profitability of ethereum uh by a little bit i don't think by too 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 much but it, enough that it would impact miners even with that it's still not too late yes when it moves to proof of stake sometime in the future which i do not have a date it will impact us but it is still it was it's still profitable and it's still a project it's the number two crypto and and, and and there's so many applications and D apps there's so many great uh, things about Ethereum and that's a whole different video for another different day but to get started right now follow the steps that I outlined to you here in this video make sure you're downloading your miners from official sources and hit me up in the comments if you have any additional questions I do apologize that the video was a little bit long but I'm just trying to give you as much information to prepare you as well as provide you uh, so that way you could at least get started there's much more that I could share with you but this will go on for hours so take care do me a favor hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one don't forget to check out the other videos uh, in which I mentioned take care guys